Hey, welcome back. Every Monday and Friday at 6, Walt has something else he wants to tell us about in the, about Mississippi. Walt, I hear you're taking on a challenge this week. It, it's kind of a self-imposed challenge, but uh, yeah, that's exactly right. And something can't be completed in just one story, actually not even in a series of stories, but we can pass out a slice of it today and maybe come back and add more later. And the challenge, define the Delta. Here's a quick shot at it. This story was prompted by this footage my musician friend from Belzona, Gus Mohammed, shot of cotton being harvested. You know, you get up above it like this and you can grasp the symmetry of the rows being gobbled up in the bowls thrown into the hopper by the picker. This looks easy enough, you'd think growing cotton is simple. But it's a complicated dance of borrowing to plant the crop, then growing it and harvesting it and selling it and paying off the loan, and then spending a long weekend at the Peabody in Memphis to celebrate. Yeah, that's the fiction novel version of it anyway. Reality is a tedious, labor-intensive process in a land that is tedious and labor-intensive itself, the Mississippi Delta. The essence of the Delta is kind of like Paris or New York in a way. I mean, all of them are places, yes, but they are as much a spirit as they are a dot on the map. And the Delta, by definition, is a flat alluvial plain created by eons of flooding on the Mississippi and Yazoo rivers. But a flat wedge of land from Memphis to Vicksburg is way short of what the Delta is. It's more than can be covered in a sentence or a paragraph or a short story. Books have been written about the Delta, thick books. And I don't know that any one of them covers it all. Used to, people lived a lot closer to the land than now, and so consequently, they lived a lot closer to the Lord. Churches populate the countryside where little villages used to be. Sometimes the church is all that's left, like this one at Estel or Estelle, I've never heard anybody pronounce it, so I don't know how the people there say it. There was a the music of the churches that bled over into Saturday night and changed tone just a mite from old Lord to old baby. And blues was born, many say, right here at Dockery Farms near Ruleville. Well, that's a start, that's a slice of the Delta, especially for any of you who've never been there. And a visit back for we who grew up there, and an invitation to go see it and feel the spirit of the land of hard times and fat times and the kinds of times that each inspired in everyday living. Tell you what, if you want a good read and an adequate introduction to the Delta, get a copy of my buddy Richard Grant's book, Dispatches from Pluto, that's filled with his observations as a total stranger, an outsider who lived in uh, Pluto Plantation up in the Delta, and he describes what he saw for an entire year. All right, good very read. good story. Thank, Thank you, you all. Thank you.